Okay, this would be for section 4.2 when dealing with the changing of quality, quantity, and or both of given propositions. So we have proposition A, all A R B, proposition E, no A R B, proposition I, some A R B, proposition O, some A are not B. So to change the quality, <coughs> what we're doing is we're changing it from a positive to a negative or a negative to a positive. We know that A is all ARB and that E is no ARB. So to change quality, you go from A to E or from E to A. Or you go from I to O or from O to I. Some are, some are not. So we change it from an affirmative to a negative or from a negative to an affirmative. To change the qu quantity, we're going to go up or down, okay? To go from all ARB to change a quantity goes to some ARB, or to some ARB goes to all ARB. Um, likewise, <coughs> if I go from no ARB, I'm going to some AR not B. Notice that these stay within the same of either the affirmative or the negative. So E and O being the negative, I and E, I and A, excuse me, being the affirmative. If we change both the affirmative and, uh, or excuse me, both the quantity and the quality, we're going to go to the diagonal. So an O statement, when we change both, becomes an A statement, uh, a vice versa, an E statement becomes an I, and vice versa. Um, and once again, we'll use the traditional square of opposition. We'll see what that's all about in section 4.5. <coughs> we have a brief introduction to the modern square of opposition in 4.3, I believe it is. Um, but think of this in the terms of an Etch-a-Sketch when you were growing up. Um, there was one knob that went right to left, okay, that would change it quality. One knob that went north up and down which changed quantity but if you turn both knobs you could do on the diagonal and so keep the kind of etch-a-sketch in mind as you think about this hopefully this has been informative um, and will help you with your homework assignment for 4.2